I am excited because today I'm doing something a little different, which is a collaboration with some other YouTubers who are also embracing their gray hair sparkle. So all of us are actually answering the same five questions and then we're uploading at the same time. So I have no idea how anyone else is answering. After this is uploaded, I'm going to go and check them out myself and all of those channels are linked below. So go and check them out. But let's get into it. Let's answer these five questions. But I do want to say, stick around <laughs> until the end. I just realized something about my hair today, right before I filmed this, and I want to show you. So stick around. Okay, so let's get into these questions. The first question is when you decided to go gray, did you think about coloring your roots and kind of giving up? So my answer to this is actually no. Ever since I decided I was doing it, I haven't looked back and I haven't actually considered dyeing my hair at all. And at the time before that, I definitely was, I was covering it up actively with fruit spray and really was, couldn't wait to get back in the salons. But as the months passed, I realized maybe I should do this. And as soon as I committed, I haven't actually looked back. Okay, what's question two? So question two is where do you go for inspiration to keep you motivated? So for this one, I actually early on spent a lot of time going through the groups on Facebook. So the two that I decided to join in the summer after a little bit of research was the Silver Circle and the Silver Revolution. I believe that's what they're called. And I spent a lot of time looking at them and seeing all the different types, how people were transitioning, what are the different options, whether to die or not die, etc. And I don't actually spend as much time there because I've kind of made this commitment. And as far as keeping me motivated, it is really nice to see those wonderful pictures pop up in my feed, seeing people who have finished their transition. It gives me hope. Um, and I also love seeing pictures of people who are just starting to, because there's just that camaraderie and kind of going through the same thing. Okay, next question. How does your silver hair make you feel now? Well, I am just over 11 months. <laughs> I still, yeah, I still have a ways to go, but I will say I, I think it's beautiful. I, I really think that the hair that is emerging from my head, I like it and I'm very happy with it. There are days where, yeah, it's funky to have half a head of gray hair. Not going to lie about that. Um, but I really, I'm glad I'm embracing this. I feel the freedom that I was seeking because I wanted to stop fighting my hair and I've stopped fighting and it does feel really good. There are funky days where I wish I wasn't at this awkward phase, but overall I'm feeling really good about it. Okay, the next question, what's your favorite product for your gray hair? So I have mentioned this before, but at the moment I'm not specifically using products for gray hair. However, once I decided to start treating my hair a little better, I invested in the Olaplex number no. six, which is that, that bonding cream. And I really like it and I'm quite happy with it. And I use that after every time I shampoo and condition my hair, I will add the Olaplex number six. So that's my favorite. And I'll keep you posted on this channel if I decide to venture into actual products for gray hair. Okay, the next one, the final question. What advice would you give to someone who's just starting their gray hair journey? So this one might be silly, but I think documenting it better so I, well, when I wasn't planning on doing this, I definitely didn't take pictures of it. I don't know why. I guess I just didn't, I didn't want proof <laughs> of my roots. So once I decided to do it, even then I was kind of slow on taking actual pictures. So I would probably do a better job of documenting. I mean, now I actually have this YouTube channel where I could go back and watch videos from you know, five months ago and see how it's progressing, which is pretty exciting. But even if you are not interested in recording videos of yourself, taking a picture maybe in the same place at the same time, maybe once a week, um, something like that, where you can actually document your journey better. Because I think I have already promoted, obviously, I think it's great to find other women who are going through the same thing and experiencing the same thing. But my actual advice is document better. Okay, so those are the five questions and I can't wait to see what everyone else said for theirs. But I said I was going to show you something, which is that prior to filming, I kind of put my hair back behind my ears. And when I did that, I realized how 
dark my hair looks. Like it's kind of bananas with the, the way my pattern is that depending on how I put my hair, it can look completely different. But whereas when I have it down and you can actually see <laughs> the silver, but as soon as I do that, look how much darker it looks. It's so strange. I just have the darker hair at the sides of my head and that's my gray pattern. Anyway, I thought that was interesting. I don't know if anyone else will find that interesting, but I thought I would share it with you. Anyway, if you like this, as always, I would invite you to like this video and subscribe if you are not already. Just come along for the ride and see what happens with all of this.